you guys it's lauren welcome back to my channel for the love of if you're joining me for the first time i want to say welcome and thanks for taking the time to click on yes yet another bath and body works single wick candle review if you're a returning viewer or subscriber as always welcome on back you guys so i was on the fence on whether or not to do an actual um, dedicated youtube video to this candle or just do an instagram follow-up but i had a lot of you guys ask me on instagram you're curious my thoughts on this candle and especially since this is my first time burning vanilla pumpkin marshmallow i don't think i've ever done a review on this one so again i thought it was only right to hop on here on youtube and do an actual video on this candle i know a lot of my subscribers just like I do. Enjoy the single wick candles. So I want to get you guys a review of the single wick version of vanilla pumpkin marshmallow from Bath and Body Works slash White Barn. This is of course part of the fall 2020 collection. This candle is available in three wick form, but since it was my first time trying it out, I obviously grabbed a single wick. So before I dive into the scent notes and everything like that and my thoughts on this product, as always, I gotta talk about the packaging of this collection. This is probably by far one of my favorite packages um, of the fall collections that have come out as of recent. I'm not usually a cutesy kind of package person. I kind of prefer the sleekness to the white barn labels. However, I really like this chalkboard um, labeling. I think it's really pretty, really cute idea. I've actually had a few of you mention that you got these specifically for like decoration purposes. I think that's the cutest idea ever, depending on the aesthetic and what you have going on in your home. So I just wanted to mention that and throw this out there that I do appreciate the packaging on this particular collection. All right, diving into the scent notes and then I'll tell you my thoughts on this candle. Scent notes for vanilla pumpkin marshmallow include Tahiti and vanilla, pumpkin spice, marshmallow, and caramel drizzle. So what do I get from this fragrance? Um, well, on cold, you really just get a smooth vanilla. Um, it's not like a, a vanilla cupcake or, or anything like that. It's really much just a smooth kind of semi-heavy warm vanilla. I don't get too, too much spice, um, and I also don't get a lot of pumpkin puree. Uh, the marshmallow note is semi-noticeable, um, and I think that caramel gives it a little bit of a sweetness. I think, if anything, this candle's um, very evenly balanced. If you're not a pumpkin fan, don't let the pumpkin note deter you. Uh, well, I do like pumpkin scents. I'm not one of those people that likes like a heavy, full-on pumpkin puree scent or anything like that. Um, if I'm going for pumpkin, I want like a pure, almost like rustic pumpkin, but I don't really care for like pumpkin pie or, or fragrances like that. I'd say the main notes from this is really just like a vanilla marshmallow with a little bit of a sweet caramel. This one's not overly sweet and I think some of that's from that Tahiti and vanilla. It's not a, um, it's not really a bakery vanilla you guys, but the marshmallow and caramel do give it that kind of gourmand feel. So I feel like this would also be a really good fragrance that you could layer in with most any other gourmand scent you have going on, which is exactly why I wound up grabbing this candle. Moving on to the throw and the performance of this candle. So this is my, I think this is going to be my third burn. Um, no issues with it pulling out. Sometimes single wick candles can struggle a little bit to pull out. No issues in that department. I did have this going in a smaller room off the bat. Typically with my single wicks, I'll have them in the hurricane that you guys see in the video right now and use it as a scent layering. But I did test this out in a smaller room just to see if I could isolate the scent. That being said, uh, in a smaller room, this one was pretty light. Um, you're not going to want this in an open room unless you're trying to scent layer. Uh, this is one of those fragrances and one of those single wick candles where you can't have it in an open room. Uh, pumpkin pecan waffles in single wick version performed amazing. It was actually okay for an open room if you like a lighter scent. Same with blueberry pie earlier uh, in the summer. That one was quite strong. However, pumpkin vanilla pumpkin marshmallow is not is not one of those single wicks. So if you wind up grabbing this candle and you want it a little bit stronger, I would just say go with the three wick. If you're wanting one for scent layering, by all means, grab the single wick. That's why I grabbed it and that's kind of what the intent was, but it is a little bit lighter. I'd say in a smaller room, throw-wise, one to 10, 10 of course being the strongest. 
in a smaller room this was still probably at like a five and a half um, you were catching wafts of it but it wasn't filling up the entire room is this a repurchase for me probably not not in single wick form but i might wind up grabbing the three wick just because i do really enjoy the scent and I can see why it comes back year after year. If you used vanilla pumpkin marshmallow, leave it in the comments below. Let me know what your thoughts are or let me know what fragrances you guys are burning right now. Before I sign off, I also want to mention to you guys that I'm on Instagram. So if you're on there, come find me at life, L-I-F-E underscore with W-I-T-H underscore letter L. I use my Instagram to post a lot of upcoming videos, purchases, hauls, vendor wax, things like that. So if you're on there, come find me. You guys, that is it for me today. As always, I hope you're having an awesome day, an awesome evening, weekend, whatever time it is you're watching this video. And until next time, we'll see you later.